Hey y'all, it's Peyton Ward with Ward Realty Services and I'm here with one of my good friends from high school and I wanted to introduce you guys to her because she is a licensed cosmetologist now, she does my hair, and she also opened up her storefront for her boutique that she actually started at the age of 18. So this is Jessie Saunders now, correct? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she just got married recently, so. Um, do you wanna kinda show us around the place? Yeah, for sure. So out in the lobby is where I have the boutique and it's just like a couple walls. Um, my boutique is called Rise and Shine Cowgirl Co. And we'll get into like what that means and everything a little bit later. So out here, as soon as you walk in, you'll see the boutique. And then back here is where my suite is. My suite is called Effortless Maine. And this is where the magic of the hair happens. That's so. what she does all this. <laughs> like four hours straight one day we were in here, she had to tame yeah. all of this. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. I have my own room, so I just stay in here the, the whole time of your service. So I've got all my color, my material, everything. We do the service here, we shampoo here, everything happens in here, so. This is the owner of Muse Artistry. Um, this is Victoria Brew. She is a lash artist, so we kind of have a three-in-one deal going on here. Um, how about you tell us a little bit about your what you do, what you offer, and the place itself? Yeah, so we have been open here for about two years now. Our second anniversary was on February 3rd, and I am the owner, and I do lash extensions. And then Jessie, she's been here for a little bit like a month or two. Two months. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And very thankful to have her in all of her <laughs> beautiful clothing <laughs> and all of her amazing hair services. And at the end of March, we'll be getting a new esthetician in hair and she will be offering facials. She will also be offering lash extensions. And yeah, taking That's everybody. So exciting. Up yeah. The three in one or yeah, almost four a four in one. one. <laughs> it's a one stop shop. Yeah. We'll have everything. Yes. So. Jesse, one of the things that made me want to come in here and talk to you and kind of interview you today was you have, I think, just such a kind personality and I think you have a really strong set of morals and beliefs. And I remember when you first started your boutique, you were like making jean shorts and painted oh, yeah. jean jackets. <laughs> and it was just really cool seeing you kind of start that. You're very independent in that way. Yeah. And now the fact that you have your own storefront, I think no. it's so amazing. So. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about why you started your boutique. So I kind of fell in love with the, I'm gonna say Western fashion mm -hmm. um, in high school, I would say, just maybe like a couple yeah. years before I mm -hmm. started actually doing stuff. Um, and I feel like I've always been a creative person. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like I would find stuff that I liked and I would be like, well, how can I just make this myself? Or <laughs> how can I just do this myself? Yes. So that's where it and started. And we were in high school, so we were on budget. <laughs> right. So that's where I started thrifting. I yeah. would go get some jeans or shorts or denim jackets and would mm -hmm. rip them up, do whatever. Yes. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of where it started. Um, and then I actually moved to Texas and got a little more familiar with the Western mm -hmm. fashion aspect of things um, and really started actually like more of a boutique style there. I was still making things um, like on my own, like yeah. painting on jackets, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But then um, is when I started really like ordering from vendors, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Started more of like the boutique yeah. style. Yeah. So um, I moved back home and just really wanted to bring that Western aspect back to where mm -hmm. we live because yep. in Southern Indiana, it's, it's Popular, but it's not as popular, mm -hmm. definitely as in Texas. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think, especially for the younger generation, mm -hmm. Western fashion is starting to really take trend. off. Yes, yes, it's starting to trend a lot, but you don't see a lot of stores that offer that. That's where I kind of get like my, I call it my tagline, mm -hmm. but um, you will see it in my bio, you'll see it on my banners, just mm -hmm. in my store, um, my mobile store, and everything. Um, and the motto is, where modern sophistication meets the old west. So mm -hmm. that's where I kind of like to 
kind of combine yeah. newer styles and things that are trending, mm -hmm. but also bring in that like old Western, authentic, yeah. true, classic Western mm -hmm. feel. So I pride myself in that and keeping that um, just always around, yeah. you know, owning a, a clothing store, you have to like be able to yes, fluctuate with absolutely. the trends, but definitely keeping that authentic Western mm -hmm. is a super important part to me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that sets me apart from other stores in Absolutely. this area because yeah. like you said, we don't really have a ton um, mm -hmm. of stores that offer that yeah, kind of thing. I, this is something that's so unique and the location, we're in Highlander, Highlander Point, Point and Floyd's Knob, mm -hmm. so it's a lot closer to some of the places around here, right. you know, like Corden, if I wanna go shopping for clothes, usually I'm driving all the way up to Floyd's mm -hmm. So it is kind of neat having this location and yeah. um, I'm really excited, I'm really excited <laughs> for you. And, so what can we expect coming up with your products? Anything new? So I have a spring collection that's getting ready to launch. Okay. Um, we are getting ready to have an open house at the mm -hmm. time that we're shooting this. That's coming up, so I'll have um, some new items in the store, but I will be launching the collection online at a later date, mm -hmm. um, and then I'll be getting the rest of everything in the storefront okay. at the time of the launch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for spring, we're expecting more color. Okay. So I've always had a pretty neutral color palette, yeah. but as you all probably saw in the mm -hmm. um, video before, we a little pink, little yeah, we're starting <laughs> to, to add in some more um, color. So okay. I'm super excited for that. that will be Again, fun. going with some of the trends, but I also do keep some of those neutral colors, which mm -hmm. is, you know, kind of like in my brand. Yeah, so. absolutely. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about called the cosmetology side mm -hmm. of it. What caused you to pick the name Effortless Name? I'm curious. So, um, I wanted to keep it in like the Western kind mm -hmm. of feel. And I was trying to think of a way to tie it in mm -hmm. with the boutique, but I couldn't figure out exactly how to play off the words. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just- I feel like that's the hardest part is thinking yeah, of the name, it what is. to call it. <laughs> so um, I just kept the Western aspect of yeah. it when I have the added the main mm -hmm. part. Yep. So in my logo, you saw, saw on the mm -hmm. door, it has a horse's mane. Yeah. So people also refer to their hair as their mm -hmm. mane. So yeah. I've heard that. You had to tame my mane. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay, that's a good way to keep that going. Um, and then the effortless part is really like where it gets into kind of what I mm -hmm. enjoy doing and what I mm -hmm. what I offer. So the effortless part is more about just like lived in color mm -hmm. and like non-traditional kind of undone looks and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah. I, you do a lot of, I feel like, boho and mm -hmm. things like that too. Even Yeah, I so love. I offer like bridal services mm -hmm. as yes, well. Yes, I love, oh, I love your <laughs> services. I always see you post them. Yes, so those are always pretty much like non-traditional, mm -hmm. looser, just kind of undone and effortless looking. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as that goes, and then as well as my color, I do a lot of like lived in, just natural mm -hmm. colors, just yeah. kind of, you know, sun-kissed looks. Yes. Or, yeah, so that's where the effortless part came in. I just like how it looks more effortless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you say was the hardest part for you to get started in your own business and, you know, going out on your own to your own salon? What was the biggest challenge? <laughs> Well, there's a lot, and there always will be, um, yeah. but it is worth it to me. I always am so thankful. I don't really feel like I work that much. Mm -hmm. Like, I love what I do. Mm -hmm. um, so I always have to go back to that when I am facing challenges. Mm -hmm. It's like, I love it. So yeah. it, it's all worth, it's worth it in it. the end. If you any of you need your hair done, need a new outfit, <laughs> um, or need your lashes done, or soon to be an esthetician. Yeah. Um, come in, come stop by. What's the address? 751 Highlander Point Drive, Floyd's Knobs, Indiana. Okay, and you also have an online store. store. Yes, I have a website, and then I also do mobile events. Um, I have a trailer, mm -hmm. um, so I'll set up at like festivals. Yes, that kind of yeah, thing. absolutely. Yep. We see you at Lanesville Heritage mm -hmm. and the fair and all the good yep. stuff. All right, well, um, thank you so much for yeah. your time, Jesse. Now it's time for me to shop. So <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel for more local information in Southern Indiana and to meet some new local business owners. Thanks for watching. Bye.